It was great seeing Jerry. Now, you all know our next guest from Bring It On and Buffy and the Vampire Slayer and True Calling. And now she's, well, she's making a New York stage debut in the off-Broadway show Dog Sees God, Confessions of a Teenage Blockhead. Please welcome Eliza Dushku. <laughs> Thank seat. you. Hello. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> Eliza Dushku. I love that Dushku, name. Dushku, yeah. Dushku, yeah. Well, you were having trouble with Eliza, too. But yes, I was. Yeah. <laughs> Dushku I could handle. Eliza. Hanma, Hanma. <laughs> what kind of a name is Dushku? Dushku is, I'm an Albanian Danish. Does oh, that sound like breakfast? Oh, I'm Albanian, too. Yeah, right. Uh, okay. How about this, wise guy? <laughs> the word for bread is book. All right. <laughs> Do you speak I, any Albanian? I don't speak Albanian. Well, then what are you not an Albanian? I know, but I... Well, the, the Belushi brothers um, are Albanian. Albanian. Sure. Mother Teresa was Albanian. Yeah, there you Albanian go. Albanian trivia for you. Are you more famous than me in Albania? I don't know, because I've never heard that you were Albanian. No, <laughs> <laughs> but I went into a pizza shop, and, I mean, the place, like, hit the deck, and the guys were, like, you know, making us all making us all these pizzas. And... Is that because of the way you look, or because you're... No, they're like, because you're a douche the Albanian princess. Are you sure? Were you wearing that skirt when you walked in there? <laughs> My score? Were you almost wearing that skirt when you walked in there? <laughs> anyway, Dusko, tell me all about yourself. Where are you from? Uh, are you from New York City originally? No, I'm from Boston originally. From Boston. Okay, yes. fine. Nice. Now, um, lots of good things have happened to you during your career, right? I mean, I've had you, very good luck, yes. Yeah, you were in one of Bobby De Niro's most famous movies. Uh, the, the boys... Did he go by Bobby D with you? Yeah. Bobby D? Okay. <laughs> I heard you guys are buddies. Yeah. You got a nice. problem with that? No. <laughs> this awesome. boy's life. This yes. boy's life. Now, you played, you must have been a little girl at the time, I right? was 11. Yeah. And, but I don't remember you in the movie. But... I know. I had braces and pigtails and I had alopecia. My hair was falling out. It was kind of tragic. No kidding. It was really dramatic. It was Leonardo DiCaprio's first film. Sure. And it was a really kind of disturbing, tough flick. Oh, it really was. Yeah. It really was. And, you know, I felt so sorry for DiCaprio because Bobby was hitting him pretty good. He's getting the bag beaten out of him. But did you realize that you were with two of the great actors of our time? I had no idea. My, my mother is a, is a political science professor at a university in Boston, and I have a, a brother who is in the Peace Corps, and we're not an industry family at all. Sure. So I showed up and... You know, I was like kicking De Niro in the shins and pulling his hair. And I was like, this little, little brat. Um, yeah. And then years later, I went, oh my gosh, I wish I could rewind and have gone back and, and experience that again. It. But then you played with Bobby in another movie, right? Yes. City by the Sea. Yes. Did Someone you tell him that you were with him in this boy's life? He remembered. He was oh. like, oh my God, she's back. She's bigger. She's louder. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> wow, good for him. It was, it was cool. I mean, you, I was his kid. I don't yeah, but you made an impression on him. I was one of his him. kids, yeah. But some of the other things that happened to you, you got a, a role uh, opposite Juliette Lewis, right? Yeah, that was my first film ever. And tell us how that happened. I literally tripped and fell at my older brother, Nate, who's an actor in New York, um, who's with me. He's my best friend. And he... He was my best friend until I tripped and fell at his audition, and then I got this part. He was auditioning for a part? Yes. You tripped and fell, made such a scene. I was like instant. I have three older brothers. I Like the crocodile tears started. I was You were so sorry queen. for yourself. Yeah, and they kind of went, who's the kid? And I got this role. It was From? like a 6,000 girl search all over. Can you believe this? All the girls were in dresses, and I was in cut off jeans and like with dirt all over my face coming from <laughs> the schoolyard and stuff. So. so that's how you got the role. Yes, Good. that's how I got my first Well, tell, role. tell us about your new play now, The Off-Broad. Broadway play. Dog sees God. It's a play, and it's based on the Peanuts characters, but not like we know them. Um, the play opens up, and Snoopy has just died of rabies, and after he's eaten his best friend Woodstock, the little bird. And I thought it was a comedy. <laughs> it's kind of a comedy. Um, Snoopy died but of rabies. The Peanuts. <laughs> are, Sorry to hear that. I know. And yeah. then the, the actual characters are kind of like they're in high school, and I mean, I'm still recovering from high school. I'm 24, and and. They're kind of, you know, like experimenting with sex, drugs, and homosexuality in high All school. All the people around you, you mean? In, yeah. In this play? Well, I'm actually, I'm in a mental institution. <laughs> <laughs> I play Lucy. Well, Lucy. Is this yes. before Snoopy died? And that is after. <laughs> okay. And it, that's kind of when the rain cloud comes back. Uh huh. Say. Gotcha. But it's a very smart play. It's really, I mean, it's it's funny, but it's also very serious and very. Um, you know, it's really intense. And, and, and what do I learn from this play? Because sometimes these Broadway plays, you know, you come out of it inspired in one way or another. 
What would be the audience's reaction to this? Well, the title comes from, you know, a dog sees God when he looks at his master. A cat just looks in the mirror. And it kind of has to do with faith and where do we go after we die? And, and you know, Excuse me, where do we go? If you tell me. <laughs> I was hoping you knew. Um, I mean, I, I was raised Mormon, actually, but oh, yeah? that's a whole different story. Um, an Albanian Mormon? An Albanian, an Albanian Mormon, yeah. you must be the only one. <laughs> <laughs> and a feminist and liberal as oh, well. Oh, my God. You're the whole ball of wax. Yeah. Um, um, but it's really, it's just so smart, and it's, um, and it's, it's, it reminds me of high school, and high school well, can uh, be really hard. Some of the young kids will yeah. love it. It's very cool. A lot so, of the other actors in it. So you're just starting this, really, huh? Yeah. And you just moved into your New York apartment. Yes. That's always an experience if you haven't lived in New York before. Yes. What were your, what's your take on that? Um, the first place I found, the, um, guy that, the gentleman that sublet this apartment to me kind of went crazy, and... Um, started cursing me out and so I had to be gone in like three days and then I have been kind of sleeping around New York. Wait, really? No, sleeping around? <laughs> I've been sleeping in different places around yeah. New York. Like, I've been sleeping at my brother's and at oh, my friend yeah, Peter's yeah. and at... I mean, that's yeah. great. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for that. I, I, guess, I guess you missed uh, Gelbin and me, right? <laughs> But I finally have my own place. Got today, your own yeah. place. Yes. Got a new play on Broadway. Who's, yes. who's doing it better than you? Okay, here it is. Dog yes. Sees God right there. Confessions of a Teenage Blockhead. Yes. It's in previews right now. It opens December 15th at the Century Center Everybody for the come. Performing Arts. We got Father Rossini coming up next. Right back in a moment. <laughs> Thanks, Elijah. Tuesday on Live Actress Lindsay Lohan.